Good evening everyone, I am Angel from Lima in Peru and this is my channel Reading Means Life. Today I want to tell you about a book that I bought last year, it was in July. Um, it was presented at the International Book Fair here in Lima by the um, University of San Marcos here in Peru. Well, its name is Mexicas and Incas. Mexicas means Aztecs, you know, a comparative study of the rulers of Mesoamerica and the Andes. The authors are the renowned um, archaeologists from Mexico, Eduardo Matos Moctezuma, and the famous uh, anthropologist called Luis Millones from Peru. Well, this book has 303 pages and is divided into parts. The first part uh, has seven chapters and it's called the, the Aztec Society or the Mexica Society. Okay, seven chapters that go from pages from page uh, 17 until page 164. The first one is about um, the very origin of the um, of the Mexican civilization. Okay, how plants were domesticated, like um, beans, uh, chili, or uh, corn, in 7,000 before Christ. Um, the beginning of uh, ceramics or pottery in 2000 before Christ. The second chapter is about uh, searching the Mexica past. How um, many buildings were destroyed during the conquest or the Spanish invasion and how many of them were restored, recovered as the Templo Mayor uh, project that was conducted, that was, that was led in the 1970s and 80s by uh, Mr. Matos Moctezuma. Uh, the third chapter is about the origins of uh, a people. How to call them? Aztecs, uh, Tenochcas, Mexicas? Well, the book opted uh, for uh, Mexica, which is uh, supposedly how the Aztecs uh, call themselves. And where do they come from? They come from what is now New Mexico, what is now Florida. There are different versions. Well, the fourth chapter is about the birth of a city. The many um, buildings, the many temples of the great Tenochtitlan. Uh, nowadays, um, there are approximately 45 um, uh, sites uh, in and around the metropolitan area of Mexico. I saw one. Um, I think it was a pyramid um, for the god Ecatl, I suppose, uh, at a metro station uh, when I traveled there last year. Um, it tells us also about Tlatelolco, which, one, which was one of the three uh, cities that made uh, the Triple Alliance and the war uh, uh, against Tenochtitlan for the control of the, the, of the former Tlatelolco, which was uh, or which had a, a, a great uh, mark, it was an important uh, financial, well, financial sounds uh, too modern economic center, right? economical center. Well, uh, there are full color pictures. You can find some um, photos of Coyor Shauki. I didn't what uh, I didn't see it unfortunately when I traveled to Mexico last year, but I saw the statue of Ecuatelique, you know, and also the stone of the of the sun or the Aztec calendar as it, uh, it is usually called. The fifth chapter is about uh, daily life from birth to death, the many rituals um, concerning birth, uh, um, weddings, um, being old and dying. Also, um, the economy was based on agriculture, um, taxes and commerce. Um, there were traders called Pochteca and the, um, the society uh, had a um, a, a tremendous sense of hierarchy. Okay? The Pili who, who were the, um, the members of the aristocracy and the Masewalting uh, who were the, um, the, the people. Right? There, there is a ritual calendar which was so so complicated for me to read. I know that the Aztecs are obsessed, were obsessed uh, in, the, in the good sense of the word with time. Uh, you can find uh, a piece of handicraft uh, depicting the Mayan calendar that I bought uh, last, uh, last year when I went to Mexico. And yeah, okay, Mesoamerica uh, was really, really obsessed with counting time. Well, the ritual calendar was divided in Atulcahualo, Telacaxipehualistli, Tosostontli, Huaytosostli, Tochcatl, 
um, Etzalcoalistli, Tequilwitl, Wey Tequilwitl, Tlacochimaco, Xocotlwetzi, Ochpanistli, Teotleco, oh my god, Tepeilwitl, Quecholli, Panquetzalistli, Atemostli, Titetl, Iscali, and some extra days called Nemontemi. The sixth chapter is about the uh, uh, Aztec rulers, starting with Acamapichtli, Huitzilihuitl, Chimalpopoca, Itzcoatl, Huehue Moctezuma, or Moctezuma I, Xayacatl, Pisoc, Ahuitzotl, and Moctezuma II, who was the, the emperor when the, uh, the, the Spanish, led by Hernán Cortés, arrived in 1519. With Tlahuac, who fought the, um, the, um, the um, Spanish and made them flee, um, and Cuauhtémoc, um, under whose uh, rule Tenochtitlan um, falls on the 13th of August 1521, and he was executed uh, four years later. I um, also like this last chapter, which was about. Um, a comparison uh, from um, the Mesoamerican perspective, okay, a comparison between the Mexica and the Inca states. Well, in that chapter it is established that um, there was a high level of science, particularly in, in the concerning or concerning uh, quipus and the Mexican codex. Um, the art artistic um, styles, especially in the case of Cusco, which was so different from uh, the extravagant uh, Aztec aesthetics, but in the case of Cusco, uh, the buildings projected or transmitted power uh, um, rather than beauty. Right? The corpse of the um, Tlatoani was burned uh, to ashes, but in the case of the Inca, it was mummified and it continued having a voice. It was consulted and it was um, dressed as if it was alive. Well, the second chapter, which is um, about the Inca society, um, has 10 chapters, uh, or, or 10 sections, sorry, which go from page um, 165 until 291. The first one is about um, uh, political control of the Tawantinsuyu, which is the name of the Inca Empire, right, and the physical space. How uh, complicated it would have been for the Incas to control so many ecological areas, and the question is uh, whether they uh, managed to control the Amazonia or not. The second chapter is about the origin of the world and the human beings in the Inca thought. Um, something that I have found uh, through many chapters uh, is uh, the, the problem with the written sources because um, they uh, come from Spanish uh, conquerors, Spanish um, um, conquistadors uh, during that period, so maybe objectivity was not achieved. The third chapter is about the mythical construction of the Inca state. Uh, every Peruvian has read about two legends, um, the, um, the legend of Manco Capac and Mama Ocllo, the, the first couple that was sent by the god uh, son from, the, uh, from Lake Titicaca, which is the Pacarina. Pacarina is a Quechua term that means the, the place of the mythical origin. Another legend uh, is about uh, four couples, okay? the, the, the Ayer brothers. Well, I say brothers because it mainly focuses on, focuses on, on, the, on the men, okay? Well, uh, the Incas, well, I can close my eyes and recite the names of them. Uh, Marco Capac, Sinchiroca, Yoko Yupanqui, Maita Capac, and Capac Yupanqui, the first dynasty. Well, the word dynasty uh, was uh, imposed by the Spanish, who understood, um, obviously, from their cultural and historical frame. The second dynasty was started by Inca Roca, Yawarwaka, Wiracocha, Pachacutec, Tupac Yupanqui, Huayna Capac, who was the last great Inca, and uh, then uh, Huascar and Atahualpa, who were opposed to each other. There are no precise dates, unfortunately, as in the case of, uh, of the Aztecs or the Mexicas, and according to the authors, um, it, it, their, their, the link, okay, the, the parental link, has not been uh, uh, fully uh, established yet. And this is something that uh, really surprised me because I believe that 
at least since Pachacutec, the, 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 the position you know, of Inca went from father to son, but well, in this case, it is not so clear as I believed. The fourth chapter is about the civilizations before the Incas, especially on the coast. Yeah, that um, conflict, uh, coast highlands, Costa Sierra, that we have in, in, in Peru, uh, dates back in many, many centuries. Uh, Chan Chan, which was the capital of the Inca, uh, of the Chimú Kingdom, was just, uh, was destroyed, uh, was already destroyed by the time the Spanish arrived. Well, the fifth chapter is about how the, the Inca Empire, emphasis on empire and just uh, and not just a, a regional uh, uh, kingdom was formed. Uh, unlike the Aztecs, uh, the Incas did not tolerate uh, any kind of confederation like the Triple Alliance. And it is something that they could not conceive. Okay, the, the Inca state had to be centralized for them. There are also full color pictures which I really, really like because they show, they give us some reference. For example, Lake Titicaca, uh, one of the mythical origins of the Incas, Pachacamac, a sacred um, city during, the, um, during and before the Inca uh, civilization, which is unfortunately in such bad condition in the south of Lima. Uh, a picture by the great um, Indian writer, Waman Poma Gayala, depicting um, Pachacuti. Um, as, um, as going to, to a war, right, to battle. The sixth chapter is about um, the, um, the Incas at, at the very beginning of, of their history, how, uh, the, um, or the fact that there were many rival ethnic um, uh, groups in the same area uh, fighting against them, um, such as the Ayarmacas or the Pinawas, that in their ethnic uh, confrontation it, it, um, happens okay, in uh, the frame of the first dynasty, uh, that is what uh, has traditionally been called. Um, it has not been fully established uh, how much territory each of those Incas uh, uh, conquered because uh, Kipus had not, have not been fully, um, fully understood or deciphered. Well, the seventh chapter is about um, the Inca power, how uh, the Incas uh, conquered many areas by violence, perhaps, okay, uh, you know, uh, by war, uh, or perhaps some uh, agreements. Um, marriages uh, uh, played a, a key role in those peaceful uh, links. Um, the, um, the idol, you know, the, the figure of the, of the original gods was taken as a hostage and, and taken to uh, Cusco uh, so as to avoid any type of rebellion. Um, the, the eighth chapter is about the privileges and also the difficulties that the last uh, rulers, the last Inca rulers had, especially Huayna Capac, you know, that he spent most of his life um, not in Cusco, but in the north, in what is now um, Colombia and especially Ecuador, fighting uh, some ethnic groups that had uh, had just been um, invaded and conquered, like the Cayambes or the Carangis, in what is now Ecuador, as I said. And uh, chapter nine is about the, the war of the of the ends of the empire. Uh, the, the Spanish captured uh, Atahualpa, executed him, and then he they, they needed a puppet. And they found it on the figure of Tupac Hualpa, who was one of the brothers of Huáscar and Atahualpa. Then Manco Inca, and Manco Inca was uh, horribly treated, okay? He was extorted to give them more gold, and he escapes to the um, the Amazonian region of Vilcabamba, relatively near Cusco, and well, that um, resistance uh, finished in 1572. It means 40 years after the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors. And well, the last chapter is about the Inca uh, state and Mexica state, a comparative uh, analysis from the Andean uh, perspective. 
Well, something that uh, surprised me was that uh, Pasto in Colombia has not been uh, mentioned as uh, the territories ruled by the Incas. Uh, again, the problem of uh, defining dates, uh, unlike in Mesoamerica, is stated here. Um, another surprising aspect that, well, I started to doubt uh, how serious it sounds if uh, that Pachacutec um, is partly mythical and partly real, partly historical. I believed that Pachacuti uh, was a, a historical figure, okay, but well. Again, it is established that Incas did not accept any type of uh, concessions okay, to other, um, to other uh, kingdoms. There could have never been uh, a triple alliance, as in the case of Tlacopan, Tenochtitlan, and, um, and Tlatelolco in the case of Mexico. Tenochtitlan as a great capital, um, opposed, as opposed to uh, Cusco as a sanctuary. Well, there is not so much information regarding um, an equivalent of the Pochteca traders, although there is something similar in the figure of the Chincha traders. And uh, again, there is not so much um, information about uh, military um, training, as in the case of the, um, of, of, of the Aztecs, in which uh, information is much richer. Uh, I am excluding uh, weapons. I am talking about the training and the different uh, levels. The Calmecac, which was the, the school of the aristocracy in the case of the Aztec Empire, uh, as opposed to the Yachaywasi, which was probably invented by Inca Garcilaso de la Vega, one of the most important writers in that period, because it sounded suspiciously similar to the Spanish system in the 16th century. There is so little that is known about how uh, Inca gods and goddesses were represented, were depicted, uh, as opposed, again, to the rich uh, iconography, iconography um, of, the, of the Mexicas. Um, so, in, in the end, what, what I would have wanted this book to include was something more about the aesthetics, about the, the, the art, about the role of, of, of women, uh, perhaps. However, even though um, it has not been fully uh, shown, uh, this is just a personal uh, desire or a personal um, uh, interest. Um, I have to admit that this is the first time that I have read such a comparative study between the two most important civilizations, centralized civilizations in, in uh, pre-Columbian pre uh, America. So I really recommend reading this book. I, you will not regret uh, doing that. I give it a four out of five. Um, in the bibliography is really, uh, really professional. Those uh, authors are really professional. So they really know what they are writing about. So if you want something really professional and a panoramic view of those civilizations, this book is for you, okay? So that's all for now. Bye-bye.